In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May the grace and the peace of God our Father, who raised Jesus from the dead, be with you all. In the waters of baptism, Douglas, old father, Abbott, died with Christ and rose with him to new life. This day, may he share in the Lord's eternal glory. And on that great day of baptism, Doug received the sign of the cross. It remains our enduring hope for salvation in Christ Jesus. Here we gather. We gather with memories, We gather with heartfelt emotion. We gather both grieving and grateful for a life that God has shared with us. And in this celebration, with hearts grieving and grateful, we return that life to God, the giver of every good gift. For we know that at the time of death, all the love, all the tenderness and care, all the sacrifice that has knitted us together and made us one does not unravel. The love does not die. The bonds are not erased. With faith in our God of merciful love, who knows the good we have done, we gather this day for a time of prayer. Let us pray. O God, whose nature is always to forgive and to show mercy, we humbly implore you for your servant Doug, whom you have called to journey to you. And since he hoped and believed in you, grant that he may be led to our true homeland, to delight in its everlasting joys through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives, who reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will provide for all peoples a feast of rich food and choice wines, rich, juicy food and pure choice wines. 
on this mountain, the Lord will destroy the veil that veils all peoples, the web that is woven over all nations. The Lord will destroy death forever. The Lord God will wipe away from the, te the tears from all faces. The reproach of his people he will remove from the whole earth. For the Lord has spoken. On that day it will be said, Behold, our God, to whom we look to save us. This is the Lord for whom we looked. Let us rejoice and be glad that he has saved us. The word of the Lord.
reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. What shall we say to this? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but handed him over for us all, how will he not give us also everything else along with him? Who will bring a charge against God's chosen ones? It is God who acquits us. Who will condemn? It is Christ Jesus who died, rather was raised, who also is at the right hand of God, who indeed intercedes for us. What will separate us from the love of Christ? Will anguish or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or the sword? No, in all these things we conquer overwhelmingly through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor principalities, nor present things, nor future things, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. The word of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus answered, I give you praise, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. For although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. 
No one knows the Son but the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart. And you will find rest for yourselves, for my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. We are not alone. Doug is not alone. This liturgy began with a solemn remembrance of baptism. the Paschal candle symbolizing the risen Christ, sprinkled with holy water, and the, the pall symbolic of the baptismal garment. Baptism. This is how a life of faith begins. And here in this celebration, we see that this is how a life of faith never dies. If God is for us, who can be against us? Paul asks and makes an excellent case, a fine argument. God is for us. The invitation The invitation Doug received, the invitation all the baptized receive, for us to be for God. Who has loved us in Christ, coming to us not simply with words, but in a way we can recognize in flesh and blood. Like us in all things but sin. That we may relate to Christ and to one another, and that we may serve Christ in and through one another. Doug is what I would call a commuter missionary. A true humanitarian. Most of us have 
never seen the airports in places like Addis Ababa or Dar es Salaam. Doug knew them. As he traveled on scientific humanitarian mission, serving through his dedicated work and scholarship, people who would benefit from his labors, people he would have never met and who would have never met him. We have met him and we have known him and loved him. We are not alone for we gather as faith community. And Doug is not alone as he gathers among the communion of saints which he now joins. And welcoming him will be some of those people who benefited from his life's work who he never knew but loved nonetheless as children of God and so brothers and sisters to him as are we all who gather this day The prophet speaks. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will provide for all peoples. Here and now, in other words, just as we are, our God comes to us. principally through the support we give to one another. That we may be strengthened beyond this day, beyond this time, drawn more deeply into the paschal mystery of Christ's dying and rising. Come to me, Jesus says. All you who are weary and find life burdensome, I will refresh you. Take my yoke upon you. Learn from me, for I am gentle and humble of heart. In this, we're invited to walk in the ways of Jesus, to make the kinds of choices he made. Doug made those choices. We're invited to serve as Jesus served. We're invited to love as Jesus loves. And we endeavor to do so with fullness of heart, confident in the power of God who raised Jesus from the dead and united with him. May we and Doug live forever beholding the Lord's glory.
sisters and brothers. Jesus Christ is risen from the dead and sits at the right hand of the Father where he intercedes for his church. Confident that God hears the voices of those who trust in the Lord Jesus, we join our prayers to his. In baptism, Douglas received the light of Christ. Scatter the darkness now and lead him over the waters of death. We pray to the Lord. Douglas was nourished at the table of the Savior. Welcome him into the halls of the heavenly banquet. We pray to the Lord. Many friends and members of our families have gone before us and await the kingdom. Grant them an everlasting home with your son. We pray to the Lord. Those who trusted in the Lord now sleep in the Lord. Give refreshment, rest, and peace to all whose faith is known to you alone. We pray to the Lord. The family and friends of Doug seek comfort and consolation. Heal their pain and dispel the darkness and doubt that come from grief. We pray to the Lord. We are assembled here in faith and confidence to pray for Douglas. Strengthen our hope so that we may live in the expectation of your son's coming. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of the living, as you have heard the prayers of our lips, so also may you move us in heart and mind and will to live as we have prayed through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant Doug, we beseech your mercy that he who did not doubt your son to be a loving saver may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. <laughs> 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. It is our duty. It is our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him the hope of a blessed resurrection has dawned that those saddened by the certainty of dying may be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, Lord, for your faithful people, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready in heaven. And so with all the company of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory. Without end, we acclaim. of all holiness. Make holy then these gifts, we pray. Send your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for the many for forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When When we we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life. We offer you the chalice of salvation. We offer you thanks and praise that you've gathered us here, calling us worthy to be in your presence, worthy to serve you and to serve your people. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, with Austin Anthony, our Bishop, with the clergy, the religious, all the lay faithful, the entire people your Son has gained for you. Remember your servant, Doug, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember, too, our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection 
and all who have died in your mercy, welcome to the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we too may be co-heirs to eternal life, to praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, together we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And be thy name. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. With the kingdom, the power, and the glory of your soul. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give to you. Look then not on our sins, but rather on our faith as your church, and grant us your peace and unity in accord with your will as you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy you should enter into my future.
For those participating in the liturgy from home, please join in the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are most present in the most holy sacrament of your body and blood. I love you and desire to receive you. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Never let me be separated from you. Amen.